Mama. Today I'm going to be showing you just kind of an updated packing video of how I have been bringing my Limea Sophie nylon backpack to work with me. Um, the nylon backpack is one of my favorites for work because I can really pack it up heavy and full and it still stays lightweight which is really nice. And there's just a few things in here that you haven't seen before. I, sometimes I don't always have like a new way to pack a diaper bag. I just have new stuff to show you so I want to put it all in a diaper bag and kind of show you how it all looks together. So today we're just gonna jump right into that. Okay, so if you are new here, Limea brand is my own brand of diaper bags and I like to point this out because you need to know this is not an unbiased review. <laughs> this is my line of diaper bags that I designed, um, that I put into production and I sell through my website, thesensiblemama.com. We're an online baby boutique where we sell all things related to moms and babies and kiddos. And Limea brand was an extension of that. I saw a gap in the market for bags that were really needed for moms who maybe were more in the transition phase, perhaps sort of ready to be out of the diaper bag phase altogether, but wanting a bag that they could use for those last few months or even the last few years, and then use them as a work bag as well. So today I've got this packed up as my work bag and I wanna share with you how I'm doing that. Of course, if you decide that you want this bag uh, or any of the things that's inside of it, it's all available at thesensiblemama.com, linked down below. Now the Nylon Sophie is made of full breathable nylon. It can be machine washed gently and sparingly. All of the trim is microfiber. It's just a form of vegan leather. It's less prone to chipping and cracking and things like that, which is why we like to use this. The Nylon Sophie comes in three colors. This one is called Steel the Show. We also have a very beautiful, subtle blush pink called Still Trending and a black one just called Take It Black, which is our best seller. But teal happens to be one of my favorites, so that's what we're gonna go over today. Now, you can see this is bulging out a little bit right here. The bag doesn't always look like this, but I have a Brewmate growler in here because I take mine to work every day. So it does sort of deform the bag a little bit when you pack it this way usually you won't have this dip right here. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Here in the front pocket, this is usually where I like to put my cell phone, uh, but since I want, I'm filming on it right now, I wanted to just show you that you can put a number of things in here. With external pockets, I try to keep it minimal. I want to be able to reach in there and grab exactly what I'm looking for. So the only thing that I have in there are my AirPods. And then next to that, I have a pen because I do find myself often grabbing for a pen and I have a Go Silly reusable straw, just in case I grab a soda or something on the go. I have a straw right there with me. I find a lot of times when I go like through the drive-through, I drive off and realize they haven't given me a straw. So I just like having that. Over here in the side bottle pocket, I have my Limea brand sunglasses. These are the Rose Nicoles. Um, these are some of my favorites. They're fully polarized, UV 400 protected, and just such a pretty, pretty color. As you turn them, they go from kind of pink to a yellowish gold, just like that. And those come inside of a really strong, durable bamboo case. You get the bamboo case with a lid, whoops, and you also get a pouch. So what I like to do, this was a little trick that one of my customers showed me, is to put the pouch inside of the case and kind of flip it over the lid like this. And now you've got a nice, safe little spot for your sunglasses. And since that fits really nicely in this side bottle pocket, I just like to keep that right there. How many times am I gonna get text messages while I'm filming? Uh, I can just put that right there so that I can get to those whenever I need them. One of the things in the way that I designed this, I, you saw that, right? It just popped back in. When I'm carrying a work bag, I don't really want it to look like it has bottle pockets when I'm not using them. So I did design this with neodymium magnets here on the side so that uh, once you take the drink out, they just go right back to being nice and slim line. I don't have anything in the other pocket because I do have my drink on the inside here. And since it's that big 64 ounce growler, it doesn't leave a lot of room right here, but I can fit my cell phone here. I can get my full hand. So there's still plenty of stuff that could fit. Like I can still get my AirPods and my uh, Go Silly straw and a pen. So there's still plenty of space, but sometimes I just like to leave pockets empty. 
What I have over here, this is the She's Birdie Alarm System. I work with this brand because I think it is just such a cool concept and they were so sweet to send one to me and to all of my employees who work here in the warehouse. I need to give a flash and sound warning because I'm gonna show you what this does and it's gonna flash and it's gonna get real loud. So I'll put a timestamp right here if you wanna skip this part. So this is a personal safety alarm system. It doesn't call the police or anything like that, but it is designed to create enough of a shock and diversion for you to get away if something bad were to happen to you. So here we go. Uh, to make it activate, all you do is pull this bottom part off and here's what happens. And then to disarm it, you just put it back together. Uh, it just makes me feel a little bit safer and more secure knowing that I have something like that while I'm out by myself. Back here on the back side of the Sophie, you do have an over the shoulder strap that goes right here. Two backpack straps, of course, with a microfiber top to keep it nice and comfortable. And then seatbelt straps because uh, these snap off from the bottom here and you're able to tuck these inside of this slip pocket here if you're carrying it over the shoulder. That way you don't have like unsightly straps dangling down. We wanted those to be nice and thin so that they would go in that slip pocket nicely. So back here, I just have my 10.2 inch iPad. Uh, I will link this cover. A lot of you guys ask for it because it does kind of match nicely with Steal the Show. But I always bring this to work and it fits nicely in that back slip pocket. Of note, you do have a hidden zipper down here in the bottom. And this is where you're able to actually slip this bag over your rollerboard luggage handle. So that, that way you don't have to wear it on your back while you're going through the airport. You do have another zipper back here. When I'm carrying this bag as a diaper bag, this is where I like to put some changes of clothes and maybe a wet bag and things like that. But for work, there's just not a lot that I take back and forth on my commute. So for now, I've just got that empty. Okay, so now we can move on to the inside of the bag. There is an extra zipper here. This is where I just like to keep feminine products, which I'm not gonna pull out because uh, they're way down there in the bottom. But that's a great place to just keep those, set it and forget it, if you will. Okay, so here's a little peek into how the inside of the bag is packed up. Here in the front small slip pockets, I have my CC beanie headband. This is what, uh, when I go roller skating, I put this on over my head and then I put my helmet on and it goes over my ears and keeps my ears nice and warm. And then next to that, I have Rock Bottom Soap Co. hand lotion. <laughs> I got a comment recently on one of my um, Instagram reels that my hands were really dry and I needed to start using lotion and I thought about it. I was like, you know, I've been using hand, uh, hand sanitizer for an entire year and I just kind of thought this is what my hands look like now and they still need a lot of recovery, but I really, for whatever reason, haven't thought about putting lotion on regularly and it may be hard to tell, but it's actually making a really big difference in my skin. It's much less dry. It's starting to get um, puffier again. Like it's not so crepey. <laughs> um, so my favorite fragrance from Rock Bottom Soap Co is Beneath the Stars. This is goat milk lotion. It's really, really soft, but it's not oily, which is something that I love. And we just got these in stock. We have, I think, four different fragrances. So if you wanna check those out, of course, that'll be linked down below as well. Now in the nylon Sophie, you have an extra pocket that you don't get in our leather Sophie, which is right here. And in there, I have got my um, Limea brand small piece from the Trifecta, which is available for pre-order right now. The Trifecta is a three pouch trio set, and this is the smallest piece. This is where I keep two masks. I always like to have two just in case. I've actually got those out in my car right now because I <laughs> just ran an errand, but I just like to put my masks in there and put them right here in this slip pocket so that I can always get to them really quickly. Sitting right next to that, I have my Limea brand Gabby wallet in the color of Boss Up. Even when I don't have my kids with me these days, I always bring along wipes just because who doesn't need wipes? <laughs> so uh, this is the new Itsy Ritzy wipes case. I'm loving these because um, these can fold under right here. There's like a little seam where you can fold this under if you put just a small number of wipes in here and make it really flat, kind of like wipe pouch or Orchid Hearts wipes cases would be. But if you're wanting to carry a lot of wipes, these fit really nicely in here because of this bumped out bottom. So I've just got wipes in there for wiping off my electronics, cleaning myself off, what have you. Behind that, I have the medium piece from the Limea brand Trifecta. This is in the color I'm Moody. And in here, I just have a bunch of the tech that I use for my iPad. I've got chargers and cables, a backup battery supply, my corded headphones, and things like that. 
Next to that, I have my Brewmate Growler, and I was really excited to show you that this does fit in the Limea brand, Sophie. This carries 64 ounces of water, which is a really big deal. And what I like best about this is that there is a sold separately straw top, which is what I have on it right now. When you purchase this, you get just like a regular top with a carabiner hook on the top of it. But when you buy this sold separately straw lid, you get the straw and the lid and you attach it to your growler like this. And that way you can access your water easily all day long without needing a straw. And you can just close this down when you're done. No leaks or spills or anything like that. So these just restocked. And if you are <laughs> wanting to get your hands on these, I suggest you shop quickly because they tend to sell out fast. And once they're gone, they're very hard for us to get a hold of again. And we do have the growler available in four colors right now if they don't sell out by the time I upload this video. So this is what I bring for water every single day to work. This is my Welly kit. This is the adult medicine kit. It's like for travel, but I just bring it to work every single day. Here's what it looks like on the inside. You get pills for anti-diarrhea, motion sickness, gas relief, plus a sleep aid. And then you also get a pain reliever and fever reducer. These are capsules, these are chewable pills. What's nice is that you do get dosage information right here on the lid, which means you can look at, I feel like I'm always having a hard time finding what dose I'm supposed to take for certain medicines. This has it all broken down for each item. Uh, and I just like having this with me because kind of, no matter what issue, I may be having, <laughs> this little kit usually has something that's gonna make me feel better. So I bring that to work with me as well. Of course, you do have a zipper pocket right here too, but if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I seldom use that because I just, I, once everything is all packed up, I really don't like trying to get into an internal zipper pocket. But I know a lot of people do use those and that's why I put it in the bag even though I don't use it. So the last thing that I have is my 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the magic keyboard attached. I wanted to show that this does fit nicely in that slip pocket, or if you don't wanna fool around with the slip pocket, you can just put it right here in the front and it fits nicely, just like that. Um, that is what I do all of my work from. It has pretty much completely replaced my MacBook, which has been great. Um, and it does fit inside of the Sophie. The last thing that I wanna show you is that just like all of the Linea brand big bags, this bag comes with a magnetic key ring that is made out of the same material as the trim on the bag. I have the one from my still trending Sophie on here right now. I have enormous keys. I have to, I have to figure this situation out because this is too much for me, but I wanna show you really quickly. Uh, I wanted to make a hands-free magnetic system for getting to your keys. Key leashes always give me trouble, especially like if I've got my kids with me and I'm trying to detach my keys with one hand from that little lobster claw thing. So this is how this works. You're able to just magnetize your keys right there to this neodymium magnet on the inside. And that way you can get to your keys super fast, one-handed, just pull them right off. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you some ideas for how to pack up the Limea brand Nylon Sophie. And again, if you wanna check this out, it is available at thesensiblemama.com is linked down in the description box below. Love ya, mean it, always, mwah! And I'll see you in the next one.